Hello and welcome back to episode 2, um, Exploring Joomla 3.x. In the last episode we installed uh, a LAMP server on Ubuntu 16.04, uh, PHP MyAdmin so that we can access the database. We set up a virtual host so that we can um, create and uh, work with Joomla or web files uh, in a folder that's conveniently located on our desktop. We set up name services uh, so that to, um, Apache can uh, locate that and we turn on some debugging. So in this episode we're going to concentrate on installing an IDE. An IDE stands uh, for Integrated Development Environment and there are several of them out there. There's uh, PHP Storm, NetBeans, um, and uh, Eclipse and uh, there's a bunch of them. Uh, I so happen uh, kinda got started with NetBeans so that's what this is gonna um, focus on. I'm a fairly new programmer myself and uh, I'm uh, I'm sort of comfortable in that so that's kinda why we're going with that. So um, with that out of the way let's uh, talk about uh, just for a second uh, some of the benefits of using an IDE. Of course you know we could use a program like gedit or notepad or something like that to write our code in but an IDE uh, kinda gives us uh, some tools that are, are available to or that makes tools available to us that aren't available otherwise. For example, code completion, the ability to uh, trace up and down um, the software classes, you know, through inheritance, inheritance instances and things like that. So, um, also gives you an ability to um, do some automated building uh, of your of your software uh, and just just all kinds of things. I I, I don't pretend to be uh, a master at any of this. Uh, I'm I'm a uh, like I said I'm an enthusiast, um, and I would just like to give back to the community um, a little a little something because the community has given so much to me uh, in providing these softwares. So um, let's get started. So in order to run NetBeans, we uh, NetBeans requires um, the Java JDK to be installed and by default uh, it is not installed on Ubuntu uh, 16.04 uh, but it's very simple to do so uh, we'll get that out of the way first. We're going to press uh, Control Alt and T to open up a terminal. Um, you could also come up to the Unity bar and type term and search for it if you want. So to install the JDK we're going to issue the command sudo apt install and then we're going to install the default dash JDK. Now the default JDK in Ubuntu 16.04 uh, is uh, version 8. Uh, you can install other versions uh, but version 8 is uh, the minimum required for NetBeans so that's the one that we're going to go with. So we're going to hit enter, put in our password for sudo our sudo and we're gonna say yes that we want to install the software press enter and then wait. Once the default JDK has been installed we'll be returned to the uh, command prompt. So to test this we can type Java version and we'll see that we're running at version 1.8.0.9 or underscore 91 so this is uh, version 8 that's where they're getting the version number okay so we've met the prerequisites for installing uh, NetBeans so the next thing we need to do is open up our web browser and we want to navigate to netbeans.org so we can download so on this page um, of course at the time you watch this video I guess it could change but uh, the current version of the IDE is 8.1 we're going to click this download button here and we will be presented with uh, quite a number of different um, uh, versions of the NetBeans IDE that uh, uh, that are available. So at the top, it will uh, should you can select the language and what platform. Uh, of course, on Ubuntu, I'm running the uh, x64 version, so we're going to choose Linux. And then here we have. Uh, uh, these are different versions of NetBeans for different coding environments. So if you were interested in uh, coding in Java, you may want this one or this one. Um, if it's uh, HTML5 and JavaScript, you would want this one. If you're doing PHP, you'd want this one or C and C++, or you can download the full-blown, let's-do-it-all version. 
Well, I'm interested in PHP, so PHP supports, if we look over here to the left, HTML5 and JavaScript, which we would want, and PHP. So I am going to download the 64-bit version, um, so make sure you download uh, whatever version is appropriate for your machine. So here I'm asked to save the file. I'm going to save this and let it download. And when it's done, I'll be notified up here. Okay, the uh, file's uh, done downloading, so we can close our browser. Done with that. Um, one thing that uh, if you have not changed the default behavior of Firefox, your downloads will automatically go into your home folder into a downloads folder. So in the command prompt, I'm going to change to um, downloads. And we're, we'll do an ls so we can see. So there we see the file that we just downloaded, NetBeans uh, 8.1 PHP Linux. I want to do a long listing, ls minus l, and I want you to notice that this is a shell script. So this is a file that uh, is intended to be executed. However, you'll see that the execute bit is not turned on uh, for either the user, the group, or anybody else. So we're going to issue the command ch mod change change the mode of the file and we're going to add the execute execution bit to netbeans and then I just hit tab there uh, for command completion and I'm gonna hit enter so now if I do a, a long listing of it we'll see that the uh, file has changed color which indicates something has happened and if we look over at the permissions we can see that the execute uh, bit is turned on so now uh, with that out of the way, we can uh, execute the install file. That's as simple as doing dot slash, which means from the current directory, I want you to run netbeans, and I hit the tab key there to complete it, uh, complete the line for me, so I wouldn't have to type it out. So uh, we'll hit enter, and then that will start the installer. The first thing you do, uh, we'll be looking for um, the Java. Uh, system and then we'll come up with a splash screen. So the uh, welcome screen here, uh, we're just going to hit next. Okay, and of course, there's a license agreement like uh, anything else uh, software. If you want to actually be able to install it, you're going to have to check that. But I uh, would go ahead and take the time and, and read their license agreement. Uh, from the size of it, you might want to make sure you have a cold drink or a cup of coffee or whatever, whatever you like. So we're going to hit next here. And then this is asking, where do you want to install it to? Well, by default, it's saying I'm going to install in my. It's going to install in my home folder in a folder called NetBeans-81, and that's perfectly fine with me. You can change the folder location if you want to, but you'll have to remember that in case you ever want to uninstall NetBeans or or uh, run the binary or whatever. So we're going to hit next. Okay, and this uh, screen here says uh, we have the. It, it will it's letting us know that this is where it's going to install and we have the option do we want to check for updates while we're doing it well you can either check or uncheck that whatever suits you but uh, I just soon leave it checked and let it uh, look for the updates so I'm going to hit install now this can take a little while so if it takes too long I will uh, pause and edit this portion of the video out okay now that the setup is complete it wants to know if we want to contribute to NetBeans project by um, providing anonymous usage data. This is really kind of up to you. I uh, generally turn those sort of things off. We we'll hit finish and NetBeans is, uh, has been installed. And we know this because it's uh, put a, a link on our desktop to, uh, desktop to the uh, uh, launcher. To launch NetBeans we're just going to simply double click that and uh, as it loads its modules and starts up takes a second uh, the first time I think and then you'll have the splash screen so uh, we're good to go now a couple things that I would do here uh, if you're gonna be, we're gonna be in NetBeans a lot so I think it's a little more convenient to um, lock this to the launcher so in the unity bar where you see the icon if we right click that and select lock, lock to launcher it will stay there so if you observe we close NetBeans you see that it's still here and then we can just single click start it there the other thing that I would do is uh, now we we checked for updates when we installed, but it never um, 
it never hurts to just go ahead and, and check. So let's do that. We're going to go to help. We're going to check for updates. Okay, it says we're up to date, so we will finish. All right, so we have installed uh, the NetBeans application, and uh, we will make use of this um, uh, more in the upcoming videos um, when we start uh, delving into uh, Joomla. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video uh, and installing the uh, NetBeans IDE. Um, in the in the next video, I believe uh, we'll be installing uh, the Joomla CMS. Um, so I'll show you how Joomla is installed into our virtual host, and I think the video after that will be um, adding Joomla as a project to NetBeans. So one thing I do want to point out: uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to um, comment under the video on the YouTube channel, or you can go to my website, myheap.com. And then under technology, you'll see uh, Exploring Joomla 3x. If you click that, you'll see a notice here where we're um, making the transition from 2.5 to 3. And this is where we're at in the process. And then when the existing information on the site has been updated, uh, this notice will just go away. So under development tools, um, we talk about the different development tools that we'll be using you'll see uh, the videos available but if you need if you have questions or you need to contact me you can use the contact us button uh, menu link at the top of the website and uh, email me uh, also uh, something that I want to point out um, if you're watching these on YouTube you may want to in future videos come back to the website because as I um, write stuff uh, in a in an episode for you know say we're working on a component or something uh, and we're starting from some point I'd like to make uh, that component at least available and its start um, condition available to you so that you can install it uh, in case you're jumping in the middle or maybe you're one of those folks that you got a grasp on how the stuff works but you just kind of want to see how this one little part works so anyway this would be a good place uh, to come back and and we'll uh, divide this up into areas um, that's appropriate as we go so anyway uh, I've probably taken enough of your time today um, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have uh, please click like tell your friends um, other than that, uh, have a blessed day.